Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial for uh, interior water. The next thing that I'm going to want to be doing here is to actually create some rippling in world space so that the water slowly moves up and down on its own accord without us having to really change anything. This is a really, really useful effect for any surfaces like fluids. Uh, if you want to have it just as kind of like an idle background look that uh, still actually has, you know, some real world look to it. So to do this, uh, we're actually going to be working in a very similar way to how we worked originally with the, uh, the texture sample repeating. And what I mean by that is we're going to be uh, using absolute world position to modify this. So what I want you to do is we're going to again, this, uh, this node up here, world position offset, is the one we're going to be functioning off, by the way. So keep that in mind. Also bear in mind that the, uh, the accuracy of your ripples and how much, uh, you know, uh, how they actually look is massively determined by how many vertices are in the plane you're using. Now at the moment the plane we're using for our water is a uh, it's a pretty pretty uh, low low vert uh, plane so it's not going to be too uh, fancy here, you're not going to see too many waves but as you increase that density it's going to look substantially better. So what I want you to do is add an absolute world position uh, which is going to be under the word world position Oops, if I can type the word world. We're going to drag in the world position to here. And next up, again, like we did before, is this time we're going to be dividing it by an amount that uh, keeps it in world space. So I'm going to divide this by holding down D. And last time I divided it by 1200. We're going to do a slightly different number to kind of break it up a bit. So I'm going to hold down 1. And I'm going to divide it by... Hmm, thinking I'll divide it by about, uh, let's go 1300. Okay, so now the ripples are going to reappear every 1300 units. Okay, now for this ripples, I want you to keep in mind that the ripples, uh, to kind of create this world distortion, we really want to go in two directions. We want to go along the x-axis and we want to go along the y-axis. And what this means is we're actually going to mask out this position in two different ways. So I'm going to hold down C and add a component mask. So we've got mask, and we're going to uncheck green. So it's just a red layer mask. Now, if you want to see what this actually means, I'll show you here. If I was to click on this and then preview it, and I'm going to do this as a cube so you can see. This is now selecting these values going along just one axis. See, it's dark to light only along one axis. It completely ignores the rest of them. We're going to do the same thing again. So this time will be component mask of just the G channel, which is, again, just the Y axis. So I'm going to check G, and I'm going to uncheck R, hook it up, and if I was to preview this one, you can now see that it's going along the other direction, which is great. So what I want to do from here is I want to now uh, start working these to have uh, like some actual panning over time. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a time node. I'm going to drag the time node in. And I'm going to add a scalar parameter as well that's going to control the speed. So I'm going to call this uh, wave speed. Is good. And I'm going to set wave speed initially to just, just 1. Um, and what this does is this multiplies time by whatever value we've got there. So I'm going to hold down M and add a multiply. And I'm going to wait for it to compress. Okay. And now I'm going to oops, connect that to multiply. Connect that wave speed. And from here what we want to do is add this to our red and green. So red's here, green's here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down A, do an add, and I'm just quite simply going to get you add this to here. Control W to duplicate. Add you. And add you. And now what this does is if I was to go to start previewing node over here, is, oh actually, of course, it's not going to really work too well at the moment because it's not being um, moved just yet. Give me a moment. So, now that we've got this being controlled along uh, the X and Y axes separately, what we actually want to do is have those kind of follow a sine wave. So I want you to go, so think of like how uh, the distortion works, is it's going to be going up and down, up and down. So I want you to grab a sine wave. And for the two sine waves, we're going to set this one to a period of Look, off the top of my head, I'm going to call it a period of three. And as you can see, if I was to now preview it, it's now going that direction. If I was to duplicate that, 
and this time again we want to have some slight variance so I'm going to set this one to a uh, far more common so I'm going to set this to a period of 19 and I'll just preview that one sorry by far more common I mean far less common it's just like a slow change there it is see that so now that we've got the two sine waves what we want to do is kind of change um, just how strong they are and how they're working together and to do this we can do what's called a constant bias scale so I'm going to drag this in and this first one I can probably leave at default values so I'm just going to hook that up to there and I'm going to do that again for both, both streams except I might change the bias scale on this one to be between um, I'll set the bias to 0 0.25 and I'll set the scale to be 0 0.125. Now all I have to do is, if I was to look at this one, we can now see it does that. And if I was to look at this one, we can see it does that. Different directions. All I have to do is add those together. To preview that. give it a second there it is so now we have this kind of weird world distortion that's not directly dictated by just one axis and now the great part of this is we now need to tell uh, it where to move now if you look at this thing it's the world position offset how that works is it takes XYZ coordinates as to which direction a vertice should be moving so the great thing with that is that uh, we only really have to care about moving up and down we don't really want to move it left and right so what that means is all we have to do is now make this the blue channel because that's the Z axis uh, so to do that what we do is we set X and Y to 0 uh, by adding a 2 vector so I'm going to hold down 2 and left click and we append that so add an append and what this does is this makes these coordinates the first part of a new vector and whatever comes out of here the next part of the new vector so X and Y are going to be 0 and Z is now going to be equal to this blue channel. In fact, if I was to click on here and preview it, you can see that it's just the blue values that are changing. So the final part of this is we're going to want to multiply it by a given height so that we can create you know, up and down movement. And all you need to do here is multiply this value by a scalar parameter. So hold down S and I'm going to call this height. Drag it into there and default value to top of my head maybe 15 and we're going to connect that to world position offset and now if I stop previewing this you should actually be able to see it in here if I was to look at this cube this cube's actually moving up and down slowly if I look at the, wor the water in the world and hit apply we've actually now got the water I'm going to stare at this wall and you can see it. See the water's moving just up and down very ever so softly. And you're done. Congratulations. You've now got an interior body of water. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you're interested in grabbing anything else, it uh, really means a lot to get some subscribers. So feel free to follow the channel. And don't forget to please add us on Facebook as well. We're Pub Games AU or Pub Games Australia. Because uh, uh, any support we can get is great. Uh, let us know if there's any other tutorials that you'd like. And we'll do our best to help you out. Good luck.